Folks, I can't believe it. We've done it two times in a row. Welcome to another episode of Progression Polls, where your voice shapes the format. I'm Golden Nova. I'm joined by series mascot Noah Jenk. How you doing today, buddy? I come in many shapes and sizes. Uh, one of them, of course, being I IRL, uh, being the mascot of Progression Polls, and that is something that I take to heart. It's a role that I hold near and dear to my heart, and I also am acting as the series underdog, Golden Nova. It's a, ser it's a uh, role that you seem to have uh, uh, neglected to mention. Oh, well, I figured that was implied, since you are also the dog boy of the series. That just kind of came part and parcel with it. Can't argue with that. Anyway... Today, we are cracking open some Shadows in Valhalla, but before we get to that, we have to discuss you. Yes, you watching right now and your contributions to today's episode. Let's look at those votes, starting with our bands. Uh, Firewall Dragon came in in first place with 11 votes. Unreal how many, how much hate that got. It didn't even do anything last episode. <laughs> Boral Sword... Well, it's a card. <laughs> Well, the second one makes more sense. Boral Sword Dragon, seven votes. That one uh, basically ran the entire episode. I can see why people wouldn't be happy about that one. Uh, and then Esold with four, once again, didn't even do anything last episode. I don't see where the animosity is. Yeah, normally I would not be... Uh, I would kind of be on the, the, the same train as uh, let's hit Esold, but because I'm using it, I'd prefer we not. Uh, and that's why I use my limit on it. Yeah, and I went ahead and used my veto on Firewall Dragon. I looked back at the footage, and I understand that Boral Sword Dragon did not exactly make for a fun play sequence. Uh, all I did was have to spit out material, and I won the game. So, I'm okay with seeing that going. I'm not okay seeing Firewall Dragon go, because we don't have any of the things that make it unfun. So, I want to be able to keep playing it. No, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair assessment. It doesn't really get busted unless it has everything surrounding it. Um, yeah, by itself, it's really good, but I mean, I mean, whatever. It's a bounce. Yeah. Like, that's fine. Ooh, wow. I get to recur two cards if I also made two co-links. Incredible. Yeah, no, it's fine. It, it's chill. And then we uh, get into the ads, Nova. So we actually had uh, four here with a two-way tie for third. So first place with nine votes, Mech Knight, Blue Sky. Uh, second vote place here with five votes is Crusadia Equimax. And then that tie, like I mentioned, is uh, Beatrice, everyone's favorite card, XC's card, not mine, and Crusadia Magius. So uh, those were the ads this week. Uh, after we both kind of went on the Crusade uh, roll last week, it seemed like the viewers were kind of taken by that, and they kind of wanted to help us on our Crusade there. Uh, so I opted to add Equimax. And I went ahead and grabbed Magius. So now we have the... the group of people that will come together and fight against Ib and her terrible machinations. Uh, maybe maybe we'll see in a couple of sets what they're going to be fighting. Who knows? Maybe some kind of musical-themed automaton, but that seems a little too far Oh, that is soon. Dude, the, so the soul will soon be fused. Soon! There will be no soul unfused once we reach that no, set. No, all of them. All of them all in of one them. big conglomeration. Noah Jenk, I want to talk to you about a little show called Neon Genesis Evangelion. Well, before we get into that, Nova, that takes quite a while, at least 26 episodes. Let's talk about those unbans first. Uh, we have quite a few unbans here with a four-way tie. That seems to be happening a lot these days. Um, for third here, uh, first place, we had CDI, Cyber Dragon Infinity, with 12 votes. We had my boy, Unicorn Kieran, in second place there with seven votes. And then Ash Blossom, who is not banned. Uh, Lone Fire, Ronin Toten, and then whatever, other. Uh, so, you know what, all in all, I think that, uh, I think that's a fair, uh, assessment of, uh, cards here. After looking at it, we don't really have a lot for Kieran right now, so I just went ahead and I went for Roden Toten, just because that's my boy. I feel him on a level in my soul. Yeah, Kieran would have been a very fun thing to bring back, since I think I'm the only one with Kieran's. Yeah, so like, whatever. <laughs> oh so, yeah, that wasn't... That doesn't do anything for no. me. No. Yeah, uh, I know you love your little boy. Uh, let's let's wait and see how long it takes for Noah Jig to make a busted deck centered around Ronin Toten so that it gets banned again. <sighs> one day. Folks, don't do it. One day, one Don't day. do it until it's deserved, okay? I know you all think you're funny. Don't do that. Once we unban Mass Driver, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, that's when we got a problem. Yeah, and then, of course, the bonus is uh, Star Pack Vrains. I want to go keep digging in there and see if I can get any more of my good wrestling friends, uh, the Gokis. Uh, big fans of those guys. Uh, so just to recap everything, um, Star Pack Vrains is the bonus. 
Uh, my unban is Rodent Toten. My ad is Crusadia Equimax. Nova, your ad was Crusadia Magius. Uh, I limited Isold, and Nova vetoed Firewall. That's about the long and short of it. Now, let's go ahead and crack open those bonus packs and see what we can sup from its delicious marrow. All right, gamers, what is going on? Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Star Pack, Frains, let's start opening here and see what we can get. Oh, um, that's... Actually, everything in this pack is really good. Backlinker is, like, not bad at all in a sealed format. Uh, and Draconet is insane. Draconet's a really, really good card. Uh, happy to see that. Uh, another rematch. We got Fuck Clown, of course. Uh, and Lily Bell, another really strong card. Uh, Trickstar and just in general. Wow, okay, this Star Pack Brains opening has been absolutely insane, actually. What the hell? That's actually crazy. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, Alright, let's keep seeing what we can get then. And final pack here is going to be one, two, three, Camouflage Arts, Wizard, Narcissus. Uh, that last one's like whatever. Narcissus is like fine. I don't think I'm going to play Trickstar. Um, I think I actually have like a decent engine for it though. I might have to just look at a little bit more and see what I can do with that. Um, but Alter Guy's stuff is getting better and better every week. Uh, Kunkari is really good. I'm glad I'm farming Star Pack here for a little bit. Let's, uh, let's get to the main event though. It's time to get into Valhalla. Folks, I've finally been unsealed, the seven gems have been placed in alignment, and I have been released from my cage to do violence! It's time for another incredible pack pull for prog pulls. This time around, we have a new OTS pack. Uh, this was released the same day about as Shadows in Valhalla, but I, as usual, have not checked the contents, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's in store. Oh, oh. Oh, so, yeah, I guess me being a criminal was ordained. Okay, um, let's go for, oh, Getsuga is actually one of the better ninja monsters to have around. It even has utility later on when the real good ninja support shows up. Uh, and lastly, we have another Underclock Taker we didn't need. I don't know if we have Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, but that could be useful. And Ritual Raven is probably going to be the standout when it comes to our limited format if we try to do any kind of ritual nonsense. Um, mm, um, I'm not sure where we go with some of these. Obviously, the Wind Witch cards are heckin' strong to have on hand, so I'm not going to complain about that one. Um... Let's see what the shadows have in store for us, and then we'll see if we can uh, figure out a deck list. All right, 24 packs of shadows in Valhalla. We're going to see all the kinds of good things we can get from this, like Gateway to Chaos. Yeah, that's something. Uh, I'm probably going to be seeing a lot of ninjas in this set, I just realized just now. Uh, Abyss Leo is, or Abyss Lead? Abyss Lead, yeah. It's, uh, it's, I remember that card being pretty good. Shadows of Valhalla is kind of an odd set. It has some updates for ninjas by introducing some new cards, though they won't have nearly as much of an impact as the newer ninja cards will have. They included the Valkyrie cards used by, uh, uh what is his name? I did an episode, Schrodinger's guy... Whatever. The point is that it has Mischief of the Time Goddess, a card that allows you to go from one battle phase to your next battle phase if you commit enough to the bit. I'm looking to pull those because I think that would be funny. There's also the Elder Entity card, or the Entity cards, rather. There's different kinds of entities. A lot of them are pretty game-breaking, including Azathoth, which I'm hoping none of us pull because that card is nonsense. But all of that was largely over shadowed by the fact that this was the first time they were reprinting a lot of good invoked cards so maybe we'll get a second pass at some of those maybe we'll pull some good valkyries who's to say let's flip them up oh okay uh absolute hilarity is ensuing so thankfully we have cyber dark impact for you know all those cyber darks will be playing advanced dark so we can play advanced crystal beast uh, actually, Mirage Transformation, if I remember correct, was actually a pretty good ninjutsu art, so I'm glad to have that. Oh boy. Uh, Neos is okay. I think we have Neos Fusion, so, but we are there, so might already have Neos. And I say okay, oh, oh boy here, uh, because of Narla over here. That card is, um, with the right deck, with the right build around it, that card can really be a force to be reckoned with. 
Hey, invocation. And magical meltdown. Now, my understanding is that we... Oh, and Alistair. Oh, my God. We got the, the whole the whole trio showed up in one pack. Now, my understanding is that a lot of these cards have already been hit on our list. So, we'll have to see just how viable Alistair's second run will be. But also, having White Dragon Ninja is not bad. This is the most powerful, arguably, of the Dragon Ninja cycle. Protecting all of our back row cards. Uh, and then, of course, we have Abyss Lead because, you know, why not? Um, Valkyrie Dritta, Valkyrie Ishta, uh, both pretty good, Valkyrie stuff. Uh, Gemini Seraphonite, uh, that's fine. The Golden Bamboo Sword, ooh, if the Bamboo Sword stuff is in here, we might have some fun times. I also like in Armor Ninjutsu Art of Alchemy, this pairs very well with Ninjutsu Art Notebook for, like, a free draw two engine, so maybe we'll get that. And, of course, we have Dritta. Uh, probably not going to play it. Seraphonite, which I think we already have. Uh, I think that's already just in the pool, if I recall correctly. Uh, that is two Omega Summons, and that is a Vision Hero Trinity. Uh, uh, I'm burning this card. I am playing this. I am playing this nonsense. Uh, the rest of this pack is nonsense. Absolutely it is. Uh, Forbidden Trapezahedron. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, Invocation, too. So we're getting into some more of the good old Invoked... Uh, oh, the Alistair Link Monster shows up in this pack. I forgot about that. Okay, this is going to be outrageous. Abyss Steus is also really good for any Mermail strategy we might do in the future, and Trinity is okay. Uh, and in pack nine, we get, uh, oh, Mechaba. Mechaba is something, all right. Ooh, okay. That, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't have that before this, so that's actually really strong to see. Uh, Vajrayana's here, Chaos Neos, Dritta. Oh, Hanzo! Hell yeah! I'll take more Hanzos. That's like, that's still the backbone of a lot of ninja strategies. I'm very happy about that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Oh, Nova's gonna die. Nova might die. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it successfully, but we may be able to as a thought lock Nova out for at least one week, and that's really funny. So let's keep that up. Uh, another Magical Meltdown, another Alistair, a Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, not going to be good. And, as it was pointed out to me, I wasn't pronouncing this card's name correctly. It's actually Cyber Dark Impact! The exclamation point lets you know that it's anime. Uh, Winda is, I think, still banned. Um, and that's about it here. Advanced Dark is cool. Yellow Dragon Ninja is the new secret here. Ah, Hidden Village of Ninjutsu Arts! Now that's going to be a really good one moving forward. It recycles our ninja cards. Uh, it's it's really neat. I'm glad that we got that. Akashic Magician, I think we might have already had. But if not, then hey, that's really good. Um, another Omega Summon, Mechaba is here. And Final Pack has... A lot of stuff that I'm probably not going to use. All right, so all in all, these are pretty good. Uh, I got Azathot and Yarla, and that's really all I can really hope for. Um... I can probably make something work with this. Gateway to Chaos is also something to keep in mind, because to be honest, Black Luster Soldier stuff gets better as time goes on, so having two of that field spell really does help. Um, let's see what else we can get from this, though. Let's see what we can make from this. Um, and, you know, chicken uh, salad out of chicken uh, shit. All right, last pack. Come on, Saizo. Come on, Saizo. There's God of Skulls Oracle. We can... We can do the Jeff Leonard special, but the last card is Eldrantatine Nyarla, the card that enables as a thought, which we're not playing. Okay, well, we weren't able to get the link to. That's frustrating. I think I know what our ad is this week then, because I definitely want to have Saizo uh, moving into later sets, and I don't think there was anything else that we didn't grab here that I... that. I want that we missed out on, right? Like, we got the Alistair link. Double Ice Bell to go along with our other Wind Witches. Uh, a way to recoup all of our invoked cards. Uh, if we didn't pull any of the core trio, we have them now. So, Banless Dependent. Uh, Alistair may be on the menu. Uh, and then a bunch of other random fun stuff that we might have use for in the future. Very, very happy with these pulls, uh, outside of, like, the one thing that we didn't get. Let's go ahead and get into deck building, and we'll see what we can craft up. All right, everybody, what is going on? We are coming at you live with a Crusadia deck list. You guys know the drill. I've 
been talking about it uh, for about a week or so on the, uh, you know, on progression polls now, and I'm really thinking that today is the time, and with the minds of some of the greats in the Noah Jank Discord, such as Double, thank you very much, Double, we have put together a Crusadia deck list that I think is going to get the job done in ways that the job has never been done before. So for those of you who are familiar with Crusadia, the goal is summon a monster, get the link one, the monster comes back with Drago, hopefully, if you have that in hand, and then you special summon it to his own that Link Monster points to, add back, and Link spam forever. It's a gimmick that kind of could only have existed in that weird early Link era of Yu-Gi-Oh, which we're in right now in the progression series. So what we're going to do, aim to go second, Kaiju whatever Nova has on the board. That's why we have interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Go into Link Monsters, make Magius, special summon something to Magius, add a Crusadia, keep going, keep going, keep going. OTK until Nova is dead and super dead. We have Rhoda in here as we are playing a warrior in Crusadia Arborea. Arborea searching it out is going to be really, really useful, especially if we're going first. Getting her in the grave ASAP will be good because she is destruction, prevention, and things like Ghost Ogre, which is still a hand trap that is around and can be pretty scary, especially if going first Nova top decks something like Dark Hole or whatever the hell is legal in terms of board destruction right now, and that does that. Uh, we also have a few other hand traps in here. Two Droll, one Ash, uh, and that's really about it. Gofu for the free Link spam. Uh, World Legacy, World Crown. I mean, it's basically just a Link monster spam monster. It's just kind of there. But the real beauty of this deck is coming in, not in the extra deck, which is primarily just Link monsters, as you would expect, but in the skill. So the skill we're playing today is Professor of Alchemy. Professor of Alchemy reads as follows. Alchemy Beast tokens can attack directly. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can banish one level 4 or lower monster from your hand or face-up field to special summon one Alchemy Beast token, rock, level 3, attack, and defense 500, with the same attribute as the banished monster. It cannot be tributed except for the face-up tribute summon of Golden Homunculus. So basically, it's a really busted way to get tokens on the board. And with a token on the board, we can go into Link Spider, and then we can special summon to a zone Link Spider points to, and I... I think you kind of get the picture from there. We're going to be link spamming for free with any level 4 or lower monster like Ash Blossom, Eccentric, Garuda, Droll, Ghost Ogre, any of the Crusadias, any of the Chaos Dragons. Yeah, I mean, anything from here under. We're just going to get free link spam. And it's going to be good. It's going to be great even. I'm actually very excited to do that. I think it's going to be awesome. I think we're going to try to get this skill broken and as busted as possible in the span of one week. Call by, of course, at three because we do not like hand traps and we do not like the graveyard. Both of those things are bad and I don't want them. Side deck is pretty standard. You might notice one thing in particular here, Lullaby of Obedience. So in case Nova is also doing Link slash Crusadia stuff, I want to have Lullaby of Obedience ready to go so that I can get any of the Crusadia monsters uh, either in the hand or in the field, having an extra body on the field. And guess what? If it's level 4 or lower, I can use it for my skill. I, I mean, everything just works here. Everything just works here. Uh, I'm very excited to get this going, and I'm very excited to see how it does against Nova. And damn it all, I'm ready for a win this week, and we're going to get one, Jenkers. Now, thanks to all the voters out there, we do have two of our missing pieces when it comes to building the Crusadia deck. That being said, I do want to put the brakes on when it comes to World Chalice Link spamming for just a bit and play something a little different, especially because we got some cool new cards in Shadows and Valhalla presenting... For hire, with a little bit of invoked splash in there. It turns out a lot of them have different types and attributes, which is perfect for summoning out Alistair, the Invoker of Madness, which gets around the current limit of Alistair on the ban list, because, uh, yeah, we only have one of these to work with, which is kind of the reason why the package is as small as it is. We only have the one invocation, because it only really works when we have Alistair in rotation, Buoyed by the three Magical Meltdown that we pulled out of this set. This kind of completes the suite, but we did really just staple this onto our existing Fur Hire lists on the off chance that we get a Ghost Ogre into the graveyard to make Mechaba with. So we get a free spare kind of Omni Negate on hand, 
which is really going to help out the rest of the deck, which is already incredibly powerful. Uh, last time this was on screen, it took game after game, largely because we used Mayhem for Hire and Back to the Front so effectively. By continuing to link off or fail and summoning it back, we can keep excavating for just the right cards, and as long as we have Beat on board alongside it, we'll ensure that we have the For Hire card in hand to, to discard for a fail's monster effect negation. Pair that with Wiz's spell and trap negation and life point gain, as well as Sajita's effect targeting protection and life point burn, and we have a super solid deck on our hands. We also got to keep a lot of our extra deck. We only lost Boral Sword this time around, but we still have Boral Load Dragon, which is still a huge threat. We got to keep our Firewall Dragon. We can use all of those quick summons to trigger Topologic Trisbana and blow out Noah Jenks' entire back row because it's only a matter of time before he builds a deck revolving around pendulums because he got electromite back and i am keeping this pendulum hole in the side until i am sure that the pendulum threat is gone um not much else to say here i know that this is like not the most up-to-date deck based on the votes i know that we're playing a deck that we played a couple of episodes ago but it's really really cool and I want to show it off again. What can I say? This is a deck that I really, really love. It gets really good updates in the future. Hopefully, it doesn't get too bad where we can play this again in the future. Let's see what Noah Jenk has, though. I know that not only does he have months of pent-up progression energy, it's also, I'm sure, pretty frustrated. He hasn't gotten a win in a while and wants to try and claw his way back up to a lead. I think he's missed the feel of victory, but we can't let him have it, at least not so easily. So let's take this into games. Let's keep Noah Jenk off the top of the mountain. I will see all of you in just a bit. All right, Nova, me and you, buddy. You and I, here at the edge of Valhalla, the Valkyries are watching, Odin's cup runneth over, it's time to show him a good fight. Yep. Yeah. Hiya. Scissors attack. Damn. Damn. You, ha, Othello, Othello, Othello studier of the scissors attack <laughs> style. <sighs> Egad! I always knew it would come down to the two of us scissoring at the end of the world. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Oh, damn it. Ah, shoot. I want him to double mind game you. <laughs> That's the wrong person. Double You're has right. a whole different thing. That doing. Yeah, we, we mind game double, actually. Um, let's go first. You can have, uh, you can have going second privileges this time. Interesting. Okay. I am not against that. Uh, oh, this is terrible, actually. Uh, let's Funny. go Magical Meltdown. Oh, wow, okay. Declare We're things. doing Invoker. Well, that's not what I expected. Alright, sure. Uh, our limited Can I copy ask Golden of Nova, what is your skill card character this week? Oh, you are so right. My skill card has David on it. David's back in a big way, folks. David's back. What do you got? What's, uh, what's, who's, who Mine is Amnail. Am Amnail? Yeah, Amnail. Oh my god, the mysterious Amnail, Master of Alchemy. Master of Alchemy. Oh big fan god. of it, and that full metal. You think we should go talk to Professor Banner about this? That guy seems like trouble. Yeah, we gotta get see what's going on here. Something's not right. <laughs> Alright, normal summon Alistair. Bup, 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 bup. Ooh. Declare. Um it's kind of a risk here, but I am gonna ash the Alistair. Oh, okay. So you're gonna ash the Alistair knowing full well that I have it already in hand. Yeah, oh god. No, don't tell me, man. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll just set a card and pass it. Okay, thank You're God. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank God. Thank God. I was going to be so upset, man. Uh, all right, stand this by is the one, t the one time that you get to ask the Alistair player without being punished for it. I was so worried. Like, legitimately <laughs> so worried. Uh, all right. So, anyway, um, draw stand by main. Yeah, all clear. All right. So, we are going to go ahead and activate my skill card, Professor of Alchemy. Which gives me the effect that Alchemy Beast tokens can attack directly. And you're going to generate Alchemy Beasts tokens? Yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to get a token here. There's actually a, a little bit of text here at the end there. That's not the, the important part is that Beast tokens are really strong. There's a secondary part where I can banish a level 4 or lower monster from my hand or field to special summon an Alchemy Beast token with the same attribute as the banished monster. Um, but so, I mean, whatever. That's fine. I, I can get a free token that you can't change to. Like, what that's okay. The heck? But, like. Dude, isn't it crazy? They can attack directly. 
Wait, okay, so hold up. You're, we're playing a skill card that is introducing a whole new archetype that could never have been seen anywhere else. Is that what we're doing here? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm uh, like, I've never seen okay. an alchemy beast. Yeah, no, this is... Uh, hold up, Konami, I know you're watching this right now. I know you're scouting out people for your next Master uh, Challenger Cup series. Uh, print the alchemy beast. <laughs> Go do that. <laughs> yeah, that's that. true. I need Tin right, so, Falcon or whatever the heck this is. Dude, are. yeah, what the hell is an alchemy beast anyway? That's his whole archetype in the show, dude. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Oh, my God, it's been so long since I've seen it. I literally forgot about that. Dude, there's like a whole thing that they haven't printed. All they printed was Macro Cosmos, and they called it a day. Yeah, they were just like, okay, we're done. We don't need to talk to this guy anymore. He's dead now. He's gone forever from the show. He, he comes back as a spirit. That's cool. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so you All have right. a level... Th I looked it up. Level 3 rock, 500 attack defense. Yes, 500 attack, 500 defense, uh, level 3 rock, and it is a light attribute. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to link it away immediately. Okay. Uh, we're going to make Link Spider. Oh, that's heinous. It's not. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, all right. I dig. Okay, so you have Link Spider. Uh, yeah, anything on this guy? Uh, no, nothing on that. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're going to go ahead here then. Uh, think here. We're going to special summon Reclusia. Hey, going... there we go. Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and activate Reclusia effect targeting itself and the set card. Uh, and the set card. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just let it resolve. It's called by the grave. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not ashing the called by. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is concerning, actually. So we're going to go ahead and special summon. Mm, do we want to do that? Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and post some Draco. Sick. And we're going to Draco effect. Targeting Reclusia. Oh, that's so good. It's pretty good. Yeah, all clear. No response. All right. Get back to my hand. For you. Kind of wish I had a call by for that, but, you know, say la vie. Eh, well, you know. Uh, such as life. <laughs> say la vie, if you will. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... We can't do that again, but I can go ahead and link to... Uh, we are going to link to... Uh, also into Underclock Taker. Okay. Uh, so, so far, so good there. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing else there for Draco. Can only do that there was a special summon at the Crusadias once per turn, but I have not normal yet. Um, you so have I not. May actually, maybe I actually go ahead and normal. No, no, but it's looking kind of tempting. So we're going to go ahead and normal Reclusia. Okay. Uh, let's see. We are also going to go ahead and uh, think about this for a second, actually. Because I actually have things I might be able to do. Ah, uh, no. We're just go ahead and link three. Okay. All right. Yeah, of course. It has to be this way. We're going to go ahead and, go ahead and uh, make Echo Max here. Yar. Yar, indeed. Uh, and that included a link monster. It did. Um, yeah, it did, indeed. So we're going to go ahead and activate World Legacy Succession. Uh, Yo! <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's not bad. Uh, targeting, um, we'll do... Mm, there's a few decent targets here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a Link because they have higher attack. So we're going to grab Underclock Taker. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, boom. So there we go. Uh, so someone took his own Link Monster points to. So you are gaining 1,000 1, attack. That's not the worst thing in the world. I'll go ahead and adjust that accordingly. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and activate Monster Reborn. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, no, I know. Um, we're gonna target, um, Crusadia Draco. Yeah, yeah. Alright, good to know. Uh, we're gonna do Defense Position. Okay, so I, I forget. We didn't add Succession. You hard-pulled that, right? I hard-pulled Succession. So good, yeah. alright. One of, too, mind you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put it here because Equimax has text. Um. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, I know. Uh, and we will go to Battle Phase. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go ahead and attack. I'll take a smooth 26. Yes, sir. Yo. And then attack directly. You will not. Uh, you're right. Because yeah, pointing to it. You're right. That's <laughs> true. Uh, we'll go May 2, then. Yeah, sounds good. Eh, Equimax is still fine here. Um, That's pretty good. It's not the worst thing in the world. I not can't at lie. all. Um, yeah, I mean, not being able to make Magius that turn kind of blows. But, like, all in all, I think this is, like, a fine setup. Um, we'll go ahead and pass turn to you. Uh, thank you. Use my entire hand. Um, Set up a Nequimax. That's fine. Oh. Oh, this was close to being good. 
Um, okay, let's try this. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon beat Blazeman for hire. Oh, cool. Anything on summon? Uh, no, not on the summon. All right, uh, declare effect. Uh, let's see, special summon for hire from hand? Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll summon Bravo, fighter for hire. Oh, what the hell deck is this? Okay, neat. This yeah, is the sure. AI generated one. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you're right, actually. No, you're right. You, I'm referencing you. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. No, I know. I'm just, I'm agreeing. With, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll declare it's a, no, I'm going to declare beats effect. Uh, beat effect to, to add a dude. That is fine. Okay. Go find one dude. Uh, that dude is going to be Raphael. Okay. We'll declare Bravo's effect. Uh, we will chain Equimax. Incorrect. <laughs> Different one. That is not, not what I want. Wrong thing there. Uh, the glory effect, uh, attributing Draco. Okay, so its effect is negated this turn. Yeah, we're targeting uh, Bravo. Okay. Bravulio. Its effects. Oh, God, it's any card on the field. This thing is a red dragon. Yeah, not just a monster. Miss. Any card. Holy cow. Holy it's cow Zony, if you will. It's a deco talker, but good. Wow. What's that like? This, kind of. Uh, okay, let me take a look at my extract really quickly, see if I have any follow-up before going to battle phase. Not that one, not that one. Not Definitely not that one. Uh, okay, I do not, so we're going to go to battle phase. Okay, sure. We're gonna, How are we uh, swinging here? Bravo attack over underclock. Uh, I will lose 900. Okie dokie. And you will go back down to 2,000. Uh, main two, I don't have any follow-up for this one, so let's see what that top deck does for you. Mm, decent stuff. We'll go standby main. Yeah. And Knight do decent stuff. Who, who's to say, really? Who's to say? Um, We'll go ahead here and thank... And then we're going to do something. Uh, we are going to normal summon uh, Crusadia Maximus. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, indeed. That's that's bad. <laughs> it's not great for you. It's great <laughs> yeah, for me. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, we're going to go Maximus target Equimax. Okay. That's a really good top deck, actually. Um, we'll go battle phase, I guess. Yeah. Uh, attack beat. So that's 4,800 4, damage. Yeah. yeah, 48, yeah. 48. Jesus. <laughs> that's beefy. Wow. That is beefy. Holy hell. Holy schmoly. I uh, cannot attack with Maximus, of course, uh, but we are going to go main two here. Yeah. Um, eh, we still have the negate online. We'll pass. Okay. Um. No cowboy. Huh? Uh, no cowboy. Yeah, no cowboy for game. Uh, okay, well, let's try declaring Bravo effect. Yeah, no normal here, but you can get refill, which is a little bit bothersome. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, s special refail. That's about what I figured. Uh, declare effect. Uh, declare effect to excavate up to the equal number. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, banish the top card. Hey, look, invocation. Wow. What a top set. Wow, crazy. That's going right to my hand. I can't really blame you for that. Nar. Nar at all. Um, that's got a lot of potential to be funny. Let's go ahead. This will also oh, trigger... Yeah, this will also trigger Bravo. I forgot. This will also trigger that for the five hundred point. You move. did. And I was gonna be an asshole about it, but it's fine. No, you know what? That's fair. I should. I should uh, keep on top of that. I mean, no. If you, I, uh, I, it's fine. Buh, 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 buh. You know what? No, ahead. it's not. I'm losing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've been losing every yeah, game. Yeah. Don't no, fucking let fine. me get Fuck away you. with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Oh, man, what I. Is it possible for me to lose if I commit to doing this? I think it actually might. So instead of doing anything else, I am going to go to battle phase. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, we'll do Bravo run over Max. 
Uh, thinking. Let's see. Mm, that is a little bit problematic. Um, does that change anything if I do this here? Uh, nah, that's fine. Okay, 300. I understand now. And then back down to 2,000. Uh, and that should be enough for Rafael. And it is enough for Rafael. Uh, it'll go to the grave. I don't believe I have anything on destruction here. Just making sure. Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, okay, that main two. Yeah. Invocation. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> I'll banish my Alistair. I'll banish your... Uh, what are we getting here? Let's actually get rid of the Maximus. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm going to make Mechaba. The boy's coming. Wow! In a big way. Uh, then we'll use Invocation Effect. Yep, bring back the alley. Beyond. Put it back in the deck. Put that, top, put that in my hand. Just shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh, and then we will normal set a card. Okay, sure. And it is your go. All right, let's hope for a good top deck here. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, stay my main. Yeah. We will special summon Gofu and activate effect. Uh, oh, wow. Um, sadly, uh, oh, wait. I don't have a for higher in hand, but I have literally this guy. <laughs> Do I banish Unf the card that I get rid of? Da -da -da, or do I, send I think you just discard it, right? Send, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to send Trihorn Dragon to Graveyard. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Uh, then in that case, Gofu gets banished, which is funny. Um, goodbye, Gofu. Goodbye, Gofu. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any follow-up in my grave or anything. Um, 25, uh, 34. I think you might actually have it on the next turn. Yeah, this is lethal uh, on board. Yeah, it looks like that's lethal, so we'll go game two then. All right. Unfortunate there. Damn. All right. So um, now that we have a little bit of a feeling out process uh, thought through, I'm going to go second. Yeah, that. you know what? Now that I know that you're on Crusadia, yeah, go, handing you going uh, going second privileges was probably the worst mistake I've ever made. In well, my you won, so it worked out fine. That's fair. Um, yeah. I'm also going to win with this one. How about we do some reasoning, huh? Christ alive. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's fine. I'll call, uh, I'll call, what are you playing? Fur hire. So the levels uh, are all over the place. Yeah, they seriously are. I'll call three, because I want to keep beating the grid. That's a good idea. Okay, whoop. Ha-ha! Let's go! <laughs> You're such an ass. Let's go, baby! <laughs> you need to, like, just call the shot right <laughs> Boom, boom, boom! That's awesome. Uh, boom. Set two. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm just getting no scoped out here. No, you really are. Go ahead. Take care. All right. Uh, we're going to send my man. Yeah. Well... Let's try this again. Let's special Gofu and activate effect. Whoa! Um, yeah, go ahead. All right, time to get some vague shadow tokens. I wish they'd be a little more uh, honest, but they're not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, Link Spider. Oh, uh, Spooter. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, making sure about some text. Okay, so nothing about that, so we're going to go ahead and link. All right. Uh, Phoenix. Oh, okay. Two different names. Um, they have so two we will go names. ahead. And declare Phoenix effect, uh, discarding Reclusia, target the middle. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, sure. Uh, and then I get a draw card. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wanted to wait on that one for something more impactful, but also losing half my life points against the Crusadia deck felt like a terrible idea, so that's, that's fine. <laughs> very reasonable, Nova. Yeah. Very reasonable. So we're going to go ahead and special uh, Draco and activate effect, targeting Reclusia. Uh, that I will call by. Called by Reclusia. Yeah. Okay. All right. That is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Understandable, too. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Mm -hmm. I think that is a uh, very, very fair. Um, is it going to be enough to do stuff here? Let me think. Um, so no called by. I can still go off king. Um, did I normal? No, I didn't normal, did I? No, you go food and all this stuff is from that, so you still have your N NM. I still still do have my NM, this is true. 
Um, I actually am gonna think about that for a bit. Uh, I don't really have what I would like to have here. Um, but all things considered, I think the time has come for me to go into something that you have done, but I have not. Oh. Uh? We're gonna link away these four monsters. Not a link one, a link two, and an effect monster. Three effect monsters for Borolo Dragon. Oh! Let's go, baby. Link four time, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's what it's all about. That's, that's what I'm about. I'll take the, <laughs> the link out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, no, that's about it. All I thought about. Um, so I think we'll just go to battle phase here. Yep. And uh, go to three K. I'll take three. Sounds good to me. Uh, cool. Uh, me too. We will set a card and pass turn. Alrighty. Um, that was a draw. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think it's never been a better time to call upon the power of my good friend, a good buddy. It's David time. I'm digging Dude, David? for gold. <laughs> Dude, David is here in a big way. David is MVP of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to banish three cards to draw a card. This fucker David. Yeah, absolutely. I can't change. It's a skill. It's my once per duel effect. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> once per duel. Good old David. Once per David. Once per David. <laughs> uh, all right. So as, uh, and, and you know what David did for me specifically? What's that? What did he do? Dark hole? He got me reasoning. <laughs> Dude, it's back! Oh my god. Uh, I almost want to call three again to be funny, so I'm going to do it. We'll call three. All right, three. Oh! Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, hey. That's a really good one, That's too. That's pretty strong. Uh, yeah, well, we get Rafael. There they are. Uh, you do, indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, the issue is that I don't get any value out of the summon. <laughs> for hires. Uh, and... I David, give it, David, take it away. It's not big enough to defeat Borlo Drag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is an issue. One single issue. Uh, it's one of them. Yeah. The issue of all time. Dude, finally, a Link 4 that I can play. Have you, I think I've never summoned a Link 4 until just now. No, I think this is the debut. Good job. Dude, fucking hell, finally. <laughs> Um, I'm going to give myself 15 more seconds here. Yeah, that's fair. A lot to think about. Nothing there. It doesn't work there. Could be anything. Uh, anything but, going on. But, double reasoning is crazy. Uh, double double reasoning is what makes the world go around. Um, <laughs> yeah, sadly, I wish I could do more, but the fact of the matter is that I'm just going to have to... Set and pass. Uh, anything okay. up till in phase? Uh, in phase, we will borrow load target refill. Uh, yep. All right. 23! 23 indeed. All right, here you go. All right, we'll drop a turn. 23 uh, and me. 23 and also me. Uh, we'll go standby main. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Interesting here. Uh. Hmm. Really wish I had access to that right now, but I don't. Uh, but that is fine. Um, I kind of want to steal your set monster because it'd be funny. <laughs> I think I might do that. So we'll go to battle phase here. Damn set, Gartex monster you can play. Yeah, you can. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, we'll go declare an attack uh, into your set monster. Yeah. Start of the damage step. Um, I will like to steal, please. Here you go. Whoop. Thank you so much. <laughs> 2000. Whoa, Helmer! Yo, they're Helmer. Hey, Helmer, how's it going? <laughs> uh, main two. Yeah. Uh, we will flip Helmer. Cool. No. There we go. Uh, we will use my skill card. Uh, Professor of Alchemy. Banishing Helmer. Sounds grand. Uh, and we will get a Alchemy Beast token. Oh, a... it fits. Oh, hell. Damn it. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> all right okay uh we will link away the uh alchemy beast token uh-huh into link spider uh what the hell oh that was weird my thing just exploded uh -oh. um we are yeah don't worry we're fine okay. um we'll go ahead and 
I don't know how far do I want to push this is the thing. We'll go ahead and uh, succession uh, target Draco. Okay. Uh, boom. Uh, no Draco effect because there's no Crusader in the grave. Not a one. Um, not a one. Uh, we will go... Let me read a text on a Link monster real quick. Make sure I'm not doing this incorrectly. I don't think I am. Okay, no. We're, 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 uh, we are fine. We are A-OK -okay here. Um... We are going to go for boom and boom into Cerberus. Hey! Uh, we'll go Nightmare Cerberus effect, discarding interrupted kaiju slumber, uh, targeting refail. Hit the refail. Um, um, yeah, we'll ogre that. Ogre the Cerberus. Yeah. Um, okay, so it will still resolve. Yeah, it'll still fine. resolve. I just want to... Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. Use it. That is understandable. Um, yeah, no response to that there, so we are good on that end. Uh, and we'll just uh, leave it to you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hold up. Borrow uh, moment. This is a borrow load of crap. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Um, uh, kill me. Uh, I will do my best. We'll go send my men. Yeah. Uh, I will banish Dark to special Wyver Buster. Mm -hmm. uh, I will normal Leonis, and then you will die. Uh, I'm dead. All right. All right. Cool. Yippee. Game three. <laughs> Woo! Woo okay. All right. Um, clearly, the issue here was that I let you uh, get away with pulling cards. I won't make that same mistake again. Uh, you even harnessed David. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta anti David you. Yeah, you have to anti David fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literally just a stick of deodorant. <laughs> yeah, fucking David's so stinky. Uh, here you go. We first. hate stinky David. <laughs> I'm tired right, of going, going first. first. You can go first. That's fair. We'll go stand by main. Yeah, have fun. All right, we are going. <laughs> Oh boy! What was this, what uh, okay. Stones was um, that it? I uh, reactivate Lullaby of Obedience, pay two thousand, declare refill. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I top decked this. <laughs> Fuck this card. What? Dude, I want refill. <laughs> I don't want you to have a gate. <laughs> I want to steal her fail. You can, you can take this card and you can put it on. No, that's free material that I'm just giving you. If I just that's true. Have it. But then it's stuck in your hand. You're never going to get rid of that shit. <laughs> I could discard it for a nightmare. You could, di you could totally use it as discard water. Um, Put it in your hand, dude. All Thank yours. you so All much, yours, dude. What Thank you. I heck? love it. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh no no no! Uh, no no no! Right hand. There we go. There we go. Okay, thank you, thank you. Real life obedience moment. Um, thank you so much for my refail. It's mine no now. problem, dude. <laughs> dude, this rocks. All right. <laughs> this is so good. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh! has never been more back than it is right now. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So we are going to go ahead and activate uh, Professor of Alchemy. Um, we are going to banish uh, Mythical Beast Garuda from my hand to get a token. Dude, what in the fuck is happening? <laughs> a lot of bad is what's yeah, happening. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to link that away uh, to get Link Spider. Uh-huh. Uh, we are going to go ahead and... Normal summon Reclusia. Not really any need to do anything else. All right. Um, good here? Yeah. All right. We're going to link away. Uh, into Serb. Uh, if that's fine, we're going to link away into Mermaid. Yo! Adopting Mermaid strats. Let's go. It must be done, my friend. All uh, right. We will go Mermaid effect. Um, discard refill. Oh, well, thank God. <laughs> uh, is that fine? Yeah, all clear. Okay. Uh, we will bring out uh, my good friend, wherever she is, uh, Ib. Ib. Lee. Uh, we will then link away. Ib and Lee. 
Yeah, Dan Lee. Many people are saying this. Uh, two effect monsters. You, we got to make some taker. Yep. Uh, Ib effect. Hand her over. We'll put her, uh, let's see. We'll do boom. We'll put her uh, in the relinquished zone. Ah, good. Yeah, I think so. Um, we're going to go ahead here and uh, see how far we can extend on this. Um, I think we can actually do some okay stuff here. Uh, i tell you what. <laughs> uh, I mean, Raphael, I guess, is weird now, huh? What a guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what a guy this Raphael is. Right, everybody? More uh, a, re a real Raphael, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think that, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> good, good, um, good take, good take there. Yeah, thank you so much. So now is when I'm going to have to do some thinking here, yeah. um, because I want to see if I can set up a decent play turn one. Uh, I think I should be able to get something going here um, that could be okay, um, but... I don't want a chance. Uh, you know, whatever. Activate. Monster Reborn. Uh, we are going to target Reclusia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, boom. Boom. Nothing there. Uh, we are going to do... Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, 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 uh, we da. can... Yeah, of course. Uh, we need to get you over there. So we will do... Uh, this is, like, kind of bizarre right here. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty bizarre adventure. Yeah, it seriously is, man. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and link away uh, into Magus. Yark. Okay, we got that going for us. Uh, we are going to go ahead and see if we can extend this just a little bit further um, by going boom, 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 just like that. Uh, good. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and um, boom, boom. And we'll make uh, Equimax. Yeah, they're just for pointing. <laughs> they are pointing, yeah. We're getting a lot of attack out of that one. I'm telling you oh, that right yeah. now. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, try to follow this up a little bit. We will um, banish uh, my good friend Mages here. Uh, let's get Collapse Serpent. Alrighty. Uh, 38 Hundo is how we're sitting there, sitting pretty. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, end phase here. Alrighty. Haha, <laughs> your Rafael's in the grave now. What will you do? Uh, die yeah all right uh moving up to main phase reading cards i respect it as i want to do i definitely respect it okay so no special summoning except for link monsters this is true so my only choice is to grab alistair the invoker Okay. Clear effect. That is fine. I cannot tribute a Crusadio or World Legacy. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Whatever will you do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm worried. Uh, grab invocation. Okay. Uh, and then we'll link these two off. Oh, I see. So we have a link two that we can make here. Uh, and that link two is going to be... Nightmare Cerberus. In that, that is zone. respectable. Uh, I will declare pitching Trihorn Dragon to pop the <laughs> Collapse Serpent. That's fine, yeah. And you get draw a card. Yeah. Um, so I'm at 36 right now. We'll go Collapse Serpent effect. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. We'll draw ourselves a Wyver Buster wherever you're hiding. There you are. Boom. Uh, okay. And now that I'm no longer under the Ib lock, it's time for some reasoning! Dude, this can't keep happening! <laughs> we gotta, uh, we gotta okay, ban this card. Okay, so, we gotta ban this. uh, let's call it three again, because it's funny. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Huh? Okay. Huh? That's not three. Oh, okay. How's it going, buddy? Alright, uh, it's time to... Get silly. Uh, declare Bravo. Yep, time to summon. Special beat. Mm hmm Declare Bravo. That is fine. You get the little boosty. I'm going to go ahead and do... I'll, I'll update them later. This is just my reminder tokens. Uh, that is fine. 
Uh, declare from beat. Special from hand, yeah, sure. Get recon. Hey, recon. Declare beat's effect. Yeah, add a dude. We're gonna get the dude that we're gonna get is seal. Strategist for hire. Oh, okay, thank. Um, a whole line. Activate ma'am. Oh, okay. Target uh target Rafael. That's really funny. Okay, yeah, sure. Boom. Uh declare effect. Sure. What are we getting here? Let's see what we get. Dark hole. Uh mill top card, please. There you go. Magical meltdown. Hey. Uh let's go ahead and grab uh Helmsman. Okay, yeah, Where's sure. Guy? Uh, top of deck. Top of deck. Uh, let's go ahead and link these two off. Hmm. Make unicorn. Oh, shit. That is a round, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, declare effect. Pitching the Helmer. Targeting the Equimax. That is fine. Uh, declare recon effect. Damn, all right, yeah, sure. Special seal. There's a lot of uh, a lot for hires. And we're not we're still not done yet, because we're gonna declare a seal. Yeah, wow, yeah. Special whiz. Sure. Uh seal chain link one, target the Rafael. Whiz chain link two to get two thousand life points. Oh Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh, it's over. It <laughs> might be, it never might been just more be over. over. Oh shit! My, oh, I don't know if you. I don't know if that came across on microphone, but a uh, controller, my controller, my PS4 controller fell down. Oh no! And it sounded like I was angrily throwing it. Ah, um, which I am very angry right now. Twenty-four. This yeah, it's 17. actually Omega over right now. Here, I'll save you the trouble here. Okay. Here All right. Woo! Wow. For hire, Woo. baby. Yeah, I probably should have kept Rafael in my hand. <laughs> that would have been way funnier. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. That's kind of what I was worried uh, about, because I had, like, the one copy, so it's like, if he holds on to that, then I'm screwed. I honestly forgot Mayhem existed. Ah, well, here's, so that your, will kinda dead here's your lesson for, for today. Yeah, I was kind of spinning my wheels game three, trying to make a Boral Load board. Uh, that didn't come to fruition. Ah. Um, but, you know, these things happen. Uh, Crusadia's still a good deck. I think I can still work with it. Um, but, uh, did not today. <laughs> and, um... What's his name? Abnail be damned. <laughs> that was that's such a wild tech. I I kind of love it. Yeah, it's kind of insane, right? Yeah, just like here's a free normal monster. Go immediately into Link Spider. And uh, you do indeed. You definitely do go into Link Spider. I, I like this card a lot too. I might have to steal that for like the Crusade, the my own World Legacy deck. Actually, that sounds pretty keen. Uh, it's uh something. Yeah, right. Lullaby of Obedience is actually really cracked from this. So I take it that. Your Kaiba pulls were pretty good. And they weren't the worst in the world. Lullaby of Obedience is definitely not a bad side card to have around in a sealed format. I'll say that much. Yeah, because you have a way better idea of knowing what your opponent is on. Uh, and after a whole game of me abusing excavating mechanics, uh, yeah, that's um, yeah, exactly. pretty strong. It's pretty good. It's pretty okay. Uh, all right. So let's talk the pools i guess uh want to talk pools for a second let's talk pools uh yeah i was so the reason i decided to go on for hire was specifically because of a link monster that we pulled this time around there a little guy called alistair the invoker of madness uh oh, you pulled one yeah oh, for man. hires uh actually one of the perfect archetypes to utilize this ton of different types of natural oh yes yeah. Uh, gets that put together. I kind of went a little light on the fusions, though. I kind of treated it as, like, a mini engine to go alongside it. And I realized game one when I pulled no lights that I should have played more than just the Mechaba. Uh, because Purgatrio would sometimes go a little wild. Especially against the deck that wants to field a bunch of monsters. Uh, I'll... Yeah, Purgatrio would be good. Try to fix that for later instances. But it still went pretty well this time around. How about you? What'd you No, grab? I think that did. Uh, I grabbed some decent stuff, some, like, okay stuff, uh, all around. This isn't, like, a meme either. Like, I just drew, like, okay. Uh, Magical Meltdown I got two of. Uh, it doesn't look like I got any Alistairs, um, of which to speak. So that's something, I guess. Um, I think 
we might have already done that anyway. I don't really remember. Um, but Invocation's here. Uh, Azathoth is here, which is funny. Oh, yeah. Um, I pulled, like, two of those and a Nyarla, and I'm like, I ain't playing this. <laughs> yeah, I pulled Nyarla and Azathoth. I'm also well, not going to play this. But I did pull Trinity, so we have another uh, hero line here. Uh, we have more of the invoked stuff. Uh, honestly, the pools were, like, fine. Yeah. Um, all in all. I got Abyss Megalo is here, which is cool. I, I don't think I even pulled... I think maybe I got a Mischief of the Time Goddess. I forget. I don't... Uh, I got an Akashic Magician, if that counts. Oh, hey, that's that's way better than every Valkyrie card ever printed. So, I think you're you not wrong. You're really, really right, actually. Uh, pulled a lot of really cool ninja stuff, but I didn't get Notebook or Sizo. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so I know what I'm I asking for. I did pull Sizo, actually. Hell yeah! Yeah. Dude, ninjas are so cool. I wish they were real. They are okay. Hold on a second. That doesn't seem like a correct statement. Oh, what? I don't know enough about ninjas to contest it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was all in all, like, whatever. I'm not a big ninja guy myself, uh, but I get the appeal. Um, and, you know, they're fine. They do their thing. Yeah. But what also does its thing is this set. Um, so I guess we're going to talk about bands. Yeah, uh, what uh, What do you want to kill? Uh, nothing really. There's, everything in here is, like, kind of okay. I mean, I guess we could kill Rafael to be funny, but, like, I like Rafael. Yeah, you know, um, you were yelling about reasoning a little while ago. You want to maybe... <laughs> yeah, let's hit reasoning. Let's just hit that card. Yeah, I've, like, I've been that... getting away with too much nonsense with that card. <laughs> that card is too absurd. Two in one turn already is, like, insane. But, like, dude, we got to get rid of this thing. There's a reason. Or it's one, a... one duel, rather. Sometimes I'm like, man, it'd be really cool to have reasoning back in the TCG so that Infernoids would have a really good card. And then I play one round of progression pulls and realize, nope, it's just, it's too broken. No, it's just too good. You can't have it. Um, yeah, it's absurd. It, it doesn't, it's just, let's get it out of here. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, yeah, reasoning can go as far as I'm concerned. Um, I would be A-OK -okay with that. Alrighty, uh, I don't really have a, I don't really have a suggestion. This is all on Noah Jank this time around. Um, but what we do get to both pick are the ads. Uh, any cards you're looking to update your roster with? Do I have Toad? Uh, of the... Of the awesome variety? You know what? I think we made a joke a while ago where I pulled it and you didn't. I think that's what happened. Yeah, um... Well, now that I have Ronin Toadin... <laughs> now that you have Ronin Toadin... Let's get totally awesome. Uh, sounds good. Uh, we'll get. I'm sure we'll get double checked by, you know, double. Double. Uh, yeah, in double the checked. future, but for now, yeah. So that sounds like a pretty good inclusion on your end. Um, I I kind of want to get Grandmaster or Sizo. Um, oh. Notebook is of course probably the stronger pick, but I don't know. I just I feel like if I want to play ninjas, I want to have the big new shiny link monster that they made. Like I got the field spells. I've got all the ways to get the ninjutsu arts that I could possibly want. I just need the guy that capitalizes it. Especially no, once we get the new wave of them that was a lot more recent. It's going to be a long time before we run into it here, but the new ninjas are sick. Yeah, sure. Oh, Double also got upset when I opened the OTS packs. Uh, I got Divine Blade, the Phoenix Divine Blade thing, so, you know, that's funny. Oh, God. Okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, he sold, he sold, man. He yeah. Sold. Have fun, Easel. Well, I, I don't think I do. I mean, ah, man, that that damn card. All right. <laughs> um, so that's what we're gonna go for for the ads. What about the unbans? I mean, uh, I got Ronin back, which is cool. There's not really anything in here. I'm like chomping at the bit for, um, particularly. Was there anything on the last list? Uh, people were thinking highly of like Lone Fire. Uh, I know you don't want Kieran or. God forbid. Well, I guess we both got Infinity, because I think we voted in both Nova yeah, and Yeah, I would be okay with Infinity. So That's what I was just thinking, too, because we do both have that. Yeah, so there's those two. Um, yeah, so maybe. I don't know. It's not my... Once again, not my pick. Yeah, I mean, I'd be cool with Infinity. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that form. That opens up a lot of uh, deck uh, options. I mean, it's a really good card. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, that'd be a cool card to see back. Or maybe somebody else has a better idea. And if you do, then... Uh, I, I forget, what's our Cyber Dragon at right now? I think it's at one? I think so. I, I feel like I don't remember at all, to be honest. I'm, let me, da, 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 da. that's Infinity, regular, where's, Infinity? It's on the right side, what's the right side of this thing mean? It's, li okay, it is limited, okay. Uh, I, it's not up to me, of course. But because of some packs we're going to be opening up soon, I'm putting my thumb on the scale to say Cyber Dragon. We'll get into that in just a second. Before we move on to our next pack, we have to talk about what you want your bonus pack to be. 
Yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, to be honest, I'm really not too sure about this one because, like, Star Pack Vrains is like kind of being a dud a lot of the time. Um, if I if I might make a suggestion, sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, once again, because of the pack we're going to be talking about in just a bit, we might want to revisit the legendary collection Kaiba. That's not a bad decision. There's some decent stuff in there. It's got decent um, stuff as well as some specific stuff. And before we get into that, uh huh, I'll go ahead and say Legendary Collection Kaiba. Alrighty. So, next week, we are opening up an actually good Legendary Duelist set. They're very few and far between, but we have some of the game's most potent, powerful rivals being represented in Legendary Duelist... Crusadia Maximus and Draco, but also <laughs> yeah, you just have them all. White Dragon Abyss is the next pack that we are opening up. Not now, Baz reference yet. Not yet. This We're getting a, there. this is a Blue Eyes reference. We are getting a bunch of Blue Eyes support cards. Uh, are we ever? What What's the reprint? We've got We've got Chaos Max, Regular mm. Chaos, Solid mm. Bingo Machine Go, White Stone of Legend. We have a bunch of Cyber Dragon cards. End, Twin, Dry, Plant, Power Bond, Black Wings. Hogan's also showing up here. Sea Moon oh, is in this pack. Sea Moon. Sea Moon. Black Wings. Photon cards. Photon Hand is here for all of your XD's, XD's nuts, stealing needs. Uh, and, of course, the most powerful rival in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you want to take a shot at who we're talking about? I feel like I have an idea, and I want to say that if we're going down the same line of thought here, it's probably Sawatari. It's Sawatari, baby! It's gotta Abyss be Sawatari. actors are getting Mellow Madonna and Comic Relief in Fantastic Theater. The creme de la creme of the Abyss actor cards outside of their future Link monsters. I'm, I'm excited for this setup. These cards are looking pretty snazzy. Yeah, man, I actually would not mind uh, playing Abyss Actor at this point. Like, it's a fun deck, and it has some decent stuff to do in a sealed format. Fantastic Theater is like a floodgate, but like a funny one, so I want to see that being played. Yeah, it is literally funny. Also, Cyber Eternity Dragon. I think you mentioned that already, but uh, hey, Cyber, speaking of uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Hey, and... and as far as a limited format goes, Cyber Eternity Dragon sucks in Constructed, but having a 40... What is it? 4,800 defense monster or 4,000? I don't know, just like a giant butt that's like indestructible, makes all your fusions indestructible for a turn. It's it's doing some nonsense. And with Cyber Load Fusion also showing up in this pack, there's a lot better options for the Cyber Dragons, which is why I would very much like to see actual legit cyber dragon show up here we're way past the point where it's like a busted card so i think we need that to allow for us to play those decks yeah i don't think that's a bad idea at all i'm uh, i'm i'm inclined to agree with you Alrighty. well that about covers everything we need right now folks get in the description there's like it's the first link it's right there you can't miss it please Vote on what cards you want to see added banned unbanned what Noah Jenks bonus pack is. I'm tired of having ties for third place. I want decisive, definitive top threes. Go in there. Your vote literally counts. It changes the format. It's in the fucking tagline of the series. And tune in next time when we crack open Kaiba's super special pack. Noah Jenk, play us out. You already know what's coming. What is it? She will be coming. You're not going to see it until we... So you edit this, but uh, there's a card I'm holding up to the camera right now. And uh, I actually, you know what? Let me actually, I, I might just be insane. Let me even see if it's out yet. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God, going. is that Promethean Princess of Flames? Yeah, oh my God, it's her. Wow. Dude, that's who I'm talking about. She's and so you, good. And you're a Fumi? And, okay, never mind. This card isn't out yet. What's um, so forget I said that, guys. <laughs> I'm going to keep holding it up to the camera, though, because I like it. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see what exactly it is. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.